As physicians who care for patients with cancer, we are oftentimes following patients, surveying them, making sure that their cancer doesn't come back. What we oftentimes miss is that these patients may develop a second primary cancer, a cancer unrelated to their first cancer. We uh, reviewed the records of over two million Americans and found that the incidence of developing a second cancer is slightly less than 10%. And that risk increases with time. For patients who have a primary cancer, like bladder cancer, if you follow these patients out for 20 years, up to 34 to 35% of patients may develop a completely unrelated cancer down the line. A quarter of the time, the cancer is lung cancer. And in that instance, you're dealing with a very lethal second cancer, much more lethal than the primary cancer that they had at the beginning. So often, we as physicians are so focused on um, identifying and surveying patients for cancer recurrence, we completely miss the fact that they may develop a second cancer down the line. We are the ones that see these patients more often, and we may be the ones that are responsible for surveying not only for their cancer recurrence, but making sure they don't develop cancer elsewhere in the body. I think the takeaway message is that if you or a family member is diagnosed with a bladder cancer, you may be at risk for developing a completely unrelated cancer down the line. And I think we may need to tailor your surveillance based on what your increased risk of second cancer is. So for instance, for bladder cancer, a quarter of those patients develop lung cancer down the, down the line. A quarter of those patients may develop prostate cancer down the line. As a result, we may need to do additional testing such as a CAT scan of the chest or PSA testing for prostate cancer. And the hope is that if we catch some of these other cancers which are much more lethal than their primary cancer, we may save many more lives down the line.